Alright guys, well it's about uh, 11 o'clock right now. Garage is a little bit smoky. But not from this. Yep, I got it running. Perfectly. Runs excellent. Just uh, hook up the wiring, put some gas in it, fires right up. Revs up fine, sounds perfect, doesn't smoke. Well, it puffed out a little bit of smoke just because it was laying on its side for so long, but here's the same old wiring. Just got to get that switch wired up, but uh, I'll start it up for you real quick. I'll just show you that it runs real fast here. It runs like a champ. Basically, it runs really good. I'm gonna get the pulleys on tonight. But here, I'll show you what I'm doing now. In my other video, you saw how we made this work when we turned the whole way. It put voltage through this one and this one right here, or this one and this one. Once those connect, it, it starts the starter just like touching those two wires together, but just with a key. So now we need to find what one's grounded out because uh, this wire right here this is the kill switch basically so when it, this key is in the stop position we need to figure out which ones connect together basically which I'll just I'll run this wire to whichever one of these grounds it and then the other one has continuity we'll just put that straight to the frame so in theory as soon as it hits stop it will just shut off no problem so basically just put the key on stop put it in the vise there and um, just check the, or the, the multimeter one second here just check the multimeter and find which one shows a reading if it's uh, the wrong one, the needle will not move. It'll just stay uh, stationary. So, uh, well, there it is, right there. Um, it's this one and this one right here. I believe. It's touching. So basically this one and this one, there may be another combination, whoops, nope, it's just the top two, so we're using this one, this one, this one, and this one, kill switch, starter, simple as that, we'll make another video once we get it all together, but uh, that's it for now, hope you